How's it going, everyone? It's Jay from TheBeerHeads.com here with another review for today. So without further ado, let's get into today's review. Now, we're going to be heading to Milton, Delaware, to the one, the only Dogfish Head Craft Ale Brewery. Um, October is near. That means the pumpkins are here, you guys. We're going to be reviewing their uh, seasonal release pumpkin ale. It is 7% ABV spiced uh, beer, you know that is released uh, around the first week of September and it lasts all the way to Thanksgiving uh, it's a pumpkin beer October is near like I said I'm gonna get into this one can't wait this is uh, this beer completes my um, review for their seasonal beers I tried all of them chicory stout the um, April hop and also the Festina Pesce so I can't wait to get into this one this is gonna be a great review you guys so I'm going to get this cracked open, we're going to get into it, give you guys a verdict on the aromas, the color, the taste, and overall what I think of pumpkin ale. Alright, now the color on this one is a dark orange amber color just looks like that pumpkin, you know, pumpkin pie look. It has some nice carbonation on the bottom of the glass coming up. Hopefully this is going to be well carbonated. The head on this is a one finger fluffy, off khaki white head. Really nice color. Really liking this. It's real nice. So let's get into the aromas on this one, you guys. Now the aromas on this one. You're getting that nice cinnamon, spice notes in there. You're getting that nice pumpkin in there that um, almost like pumpkin pie, um, pumpkin yam smell. Definitely picking up that roasted malt. It's nice. It's real fitting in there. Um, the IBUs are pretty low in this, so you're not getting too much of a hoppy present in here. But it's definitely a w nice, well-balanced, spiced-out beer. Definitely a great one to enjoy for the holidays, especially like Thanksgiving with some pumpkin pie. I can see myself drinking this. It just smells so good. So let's get into the taste, and I will give you guys a verdict on that. Cheers, you guys. Alright, now the taste on this one. Definitely big, definitely bold. Has like a smokiness to the front of the palate that you're picking up. You're picking up those spices in there, that pumpkin, just real filling, real ale-ish type. It almost reminds me of smoked porter taste. Um, real, real, real fitting. You're definitely picking up some cinnamon on the front of the palate, the middle of the palate, you're picking up that nice pumpkin taste, that that sweetness of a pumpkin, um, you're definitely getting that crispness, you're getting a light bitterness on the back of the palate that glances out and it's so smooth, you can't have a linger flavor in your mouth, it's just so refreshing, <coughs> and it's just a great, great one, you guys. Um, I'll be back with the verdict on what I think of pumpkin ale, and we'll see what's up, you guys. Alright, so I'm back with the verdict. I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5, making this an A- minus beer. One damn good beer from Dogfish. Um, unlike the other seasonal uh, beers, I didn't care for April Hop. I didn't care for Festina Pesce. Starting to feel Festina Pesce a little bit more, and I'm liking it. Um, definitely enjoy that Berline of Ice, you know, the Weiss beer. And it's just for me a nice little sour tart beer I'm liking now. The Chicory Stout, I enjoy that one. That's probably one of my favorites. Um, between this and the Chicory Stout, I'm going to still go with the Chicory Stout. Just loved it. <coughs> but I'm actually loving this pumpkin ale. Very, very refreshing. Definitely one to pick up, you guys. Must check out. The whole story behind this one as well as the beer is just a great one. 1994. Sam goes to the uh, Pumpkin Chunkins festival they have out there in Delaware. And uh, uses his pumpkin ale recipe and wins first place. Uses that beer to start up also for their new uh, brew pub and brew house out there in Rohaven. And definitely just one that always flies off the shelves that you always need to get your hands on right away because it will not be on the shelves for long. Definitely a good one, and I see why. Other than that, it's been a great beer review. This is Jay from TheBeerHeads.com. Live, learn, and drink. Like I always say, you guys, I'll see you guys next time. So the next review, I'm out of here. I'm going to enjoy my beer. You guys should do the same.